Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create the cover for your Amazon KDP children's book in Canva. The first thing that we're going to need to do when we're creating our paperback cover is to calculate the spine measurement. To do that, we're going to go to the KDP help page, create a paperback cover, and we're gonna scroll down to where it says, finding your spine measurement. And you're gonna go down here where it says spine measurements for color books, because our children's book is going to be a color book. And all we're gonna do is multiply our page count by this number. So I'm gonna copy this number and I'm gonna go over just to google.com and I'm just gonna paste the number and I'm gonna do a star symbol, shift number eight on your keyboard, and then the number of pages in the book. If you don't know the number of pages, you can just go over to Canva to your document where you have all your pages and you're just gonna look at the bottom here and it'll say page one of, and then the total will be over here and this says seven, which is below the minimum because I didn't put the whole book in here. Let's do 24 because that's the minimum number of pages that you need for a children's book on KDP. So we'll go over to Google and we're gonna do times 24. And this is going to be our spine measurement. So now all we have to do is add the width of the front and the width of the back. And this is really easy because the width of the front and the width of the back are the same as the width of a page. So if we go over to our children's book that we were working on and we can just go to resize and right here we have the width of a page. And remember we calculated this in the first video of this series. So if you wanna go back and watch that, you can. So I'm just going to grab that 8.375 and I'm just gonna do plus 8.375 for the front, and then plus 8.375 for the back. So we have the width of the spine, plus the width of the front, plus the width of the back, and then equals, and this is going to be the width of our cover. We can go ahead and copy that, and then we're gonna go to Canva and create our document. So let's do create a design. We can do custom size. The width is gonna be that number we just copied, so I'll just paste it in. And then the height, oh, and of course you wanna change it to inches and then paste it in. And then the height is going to be the same as the height of a page. So if we go over here, the height of a page is eight and a half. So I'm just gonna go over here and do eight and a half. And now I'll do create new design. This is our cover file. The reason why it is really long is because it wraps around the book. So the front of the book is gonna be on the right and the back of the book is gonna be on the left. Let's go ahead and add our guides. Our guides are gonna be similar to the guides for a page where we're gonna have a guide that goes a quarter of an inch in. So this is half an inch and then half of that is a quarter. And this is gonna be our safe zone. So we wanna make sure any text goes within these guides. So there's a half and there's a quarter. And just go ahead and do that for all of them. And then we're gonna do the eighth of an inch guides. And let's zoom in so we can do command plus to zoom in. And then this will make it easier to place the guides. And an eighth of an inch is 0.125. So if you're able to get it to 0.125, then do that. And then 0.25 for the safe zone. We also want to add guides for the spine of the book. And then that way we'll know which parts the front and which parts the back. In order to do that, we're gonna add one guide at the width of the back of the book, which is the width of a page. Remember, the width of a page is 8.375. So let's put a guide at 8.375. And then the next guide is going to be that number plus the spine width, and that way we'll have the spine right there. 
So our spine width was, we actually have it right here, so let's just go ahead and recalculate it. This is the spine width. It's that long number times 24, which is this. And then we're just going to add that to the width of a page, which was 8.375. This is where we want to add another guide, 8.43. So let's go back over here and do 8.43. If this is super confusing, then it's really not that big of a deal that you have guides where the spine is because it's only this itty bitty part right here. So it's not going to make a huge difference, especially if you have like the same color spanning both the front and the back. So if you want to, you could just drag a guide to the center and then just let it snap in the center and you're good. So that's up to you. Now you can go ahead and start laying out the front and the back. So I'm going to go to my uploads and then I'll just drag this image over and I'll make it the size of the front and then see this goes over the spine. So I could just make it just cover the spine. I actually ended up doing art that spanned both the front and the back. So you could definitely could do that if you want. I'm just doing this as like kind of a quick, easy way to show you. So let's say I wanted to add some color on the back. Well, I could just change the color of the background. So I would go up here to background color. And these are colors that are in my photo. So we could grab like the sky color maybe. We can go ahead and add a little square that we can have text in for a blurb. So we can go to elements, grab a square. I could put that there. I like to change this to be like a little bit lighter than the background. But, you know, you can mess around with it, see what you like to do for your design because it's going to be different for everyone. And you want it to be unique to you and to your design style. And you want it to go with the design of the book, too. So then I could add some text here if I wanted, like a little blurb about the book. I'm just going to press the letter T on my keyboard and then it puts this text here. And then I can just move it over to here. I'm just going to paste a little blurb in here, which isn't very long, but it's just what I have on my Amazon page, so I grabbed it. I'm going to make this text bigger. So I'll grab all the text and make this bigger. And then we can make the text box skinnier like this. Feel free to add any elements or, you know, change the design however you want. This is just an example, just kind of showing you what's possible. You can also add a little photo of the author. So I'm going to go to uploads. I'm going to grab a picture of me. I could put that there. Another thing we could do is we can add like a little frame around it. So I could even go in here and do frame. Oh, that's cute. Like a little Polaroid. I'm going to type in Polaroid. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to bring this to the front, so I'll go position, let's pull this up, and then it can overlap that. And then we can grab both of these by holding down shift and clicking them, and then we can make this smaller. And I can add like a little shape out here that I can put some text about me in it. We can search for something like ribbon, and I think these are really cute to have coming out behind a picture. So let's say I just grab like this regular plain old ribbon and then I can make the color something fun and then I'll do position and I'll bring it down and then we have this little ribbon coming out. I also think it would be cool to do a drop shadow under the ribbon so one thing we could do is we'll just duplicate it so you can just click the duplicate button and then I'm going to make this one into like a darker blue. So first I'll make it the same color as the background. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit darker like that. And then I'll do position and I'll bring it behind. We can also do the same thing for the Polaroid, but I'd probably just use a square for that. So I'm just going to grab a basic square, make it the same size as the Polaroid. And then I'll make it that dark color. Put it like right about there and then position and we put it behind. Maybe I'll change the color of this actually. That's cute. 
I'm just going to type the letter T on my keyboard and the text comes up and I'll just bring it over here and then I'll write a little blurb about me and I'm going to change it to left align here and then we can just pull this in. And we can also change the line spacing here. Oh, but one thing to remember is that actually the barcode is going to be right in this area right here. So actually, I'm going to pull this in and I can move myself over a little bit too. That'll leave room for the barcode. Now we can add the text to the cover. So I'm just going to click the text button. I'll click add a heading and I'm just going to type the title of my book. And then I'm going to resize it and I'll bring it over to the front of the book and I always like to add a little curve if it makes sense because I just think it looks nice so I'm gonna go to effects and there's some other effects here too that you can look at and I'm gonna pick the curve one and I'll just make it a little more of a gentle curve pull that up a little bit and that looks good I'll also just try to find a better font than just the canvas sans so there's a ton of fonts here that you can look through except that the ones with the little crown icon you need the pro version for I have one here that I like sniglet and that's a really cute one and then we can change the color to make it go with the cover of the book I'm going to pick the green, which is part of my artwork, and then I'm going to go up here to the add a new color and just make it a little bit darker so that it stands out. I just think that looks better than the black, like it just kind of goes better with the artwork. Then we can just add a subheading here and we'll just do art and words by Heather Cash, and you can do it however you want. If someone else did the illustrations, then you can you know, say written by and illustrated by or whatever just works for your situation. And I'm just going to pull this into the center here and then I'll change the font for that one too. And I'm going to change the color to that same dark green. Now we're done. And that's pretty much it. So that is how to format your cover. When you're all done, you can go to share and then you're going to download it as a PDF. So up here, you're gonna to wanna to pick PDF print, and then you can flatten the PDF. And it only lets you do RGB unless you pay, so you can just do RGB, and then once you get the printed version of your book, if the colors seem off, then you can pay for the paid version and use CMYK. But I've had fine results using RGB and then you're just going to click download. Then after you have that file, you'll be all ready to upload your book to KDP because you'll have your inside pages and your cover file. When you're all ready for that, check out my video that walks you through the process step by step on uploading your children's book to KDP. And if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.